Hello, welcome to week eight of Stress Left Through Mindful Movement. We're going to go ahead and start seated on the ground today. So finding a comfortable seated position, maybe cross those ankles if that works for you. Sitting on a block or a cushion if you've got tight hips like I do could be helpful. And go ahead and place your hands on your knees here. Lengthen the spine. So you might notice if you have a tendency to slouch, we'll lean forward, we'll come back. See if you can kind of find a center. So you might imagine there's a string pulling you up nice and tall, lengthen in the spine. Let's close those eyes down. Start to settle into the breath. Allowing the breath to move in and out through the body in a calm and steady way. Allowing the breath to travel in and flow down into the belly. And slowly exit the body. So allowing any to-do list, anything from your morning or your afternoon or evening, depending on what time you're watching this, to be set aside, giving yourself full permission to be here in this moment. So checking in with yourself, getting to know yourself, right now. Observing your physical experience. Observing your mind, and what's going on in there from that place of kindness and compassion. Noticing what's present emotionally being curious, and not judging whatever's present right now. Noticing what your spiritual experience is. Coming back to that breath awareness. And again, noticing how your body is being held. If there's a tendency to leave the body and think about other things and be somewhere else, or maybe there's a tendency to slouch down, to hyper focus on something, or just noticing. Again, coming back to that lengthened spine. Taking one more round of breath with the eyes closed, staying with the inhale. And the exhale. When you're ready, go ahead and slowly open up the eyes. If you're sitting cross-legged, go ahead and move the front leg behind. So switch the Switch the cross that you have going on there. And we're going to bring the palms facing outward. We're going to inhale the arms up, bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking a moment to connect with the heart space, the wisdom of the heart. We can do a lot of our living from the mind. So remembering to also live from the heart. We're going to do that two more times. So inhale those arms up. Maybe even look up this time, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, full breath in. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to go ahead and twist over to one side. Twist your feet and those palms together so you can keep those thumbs in the center of the chest. Come back to center. Twisting over to the other side. And back to the middle. We're going to go ahead and uncross those ankles, bringing those legs out. 
feet a little wider than uh, hip width, and we're going to winch away from those legs side to side here. So opening up the hips today. One more time each way. And then go ahead and bring your knees together. Grab underneath the thighs, lean back, tuck the chin, round the back, stretch it all the way back. And then we're going to come forward and pull those elbows back, open up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Two more times. Inhale, round the back, follow up the belly, tuck the chin. Exhale, open up, look up. And one more time. Move it at your own pace with your own breath. Yeah. Open and look up. So we're going to drop on back down to our forearms. I'm going to show you at an angle here. And go ahead and extend one leg down. Point the toes. Pull those shoulder blades back. Notice what's going on with the chin. They don't want to tuck it way too far down. We also don't want to plot it back. So just try to open up, lengthen the spine here. We're going to bring the knees level. And we're going to drop a few inches below the knee with a straight leg, come back up to knee level, and then higher. So at your own pace, making the knee to knee the center point. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can. Really feeling those muscles in the quads. Good. Now we're going to come back to knee level, flex that foot, and point that foot. So we're flexing and pointing. The knees are side by side. One leg is straight. And then go ahead and flex the foot, little pulses. So pulsing the foot up and down. Pulse, 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 pulse. And then we're going to stop knee level. Turn the big toe inward. So the big toe is faced towards the midline. And we're going to bring the heel almost to the ground and then back up to knee level. Keeping that big toe pointed inward. Got it. Good. If that big toe starts coming back to center, try to point it back inward. Keep that going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then we're going to bring the toes back up to the ceiling. Bring that leg out about 25 degrees to the side. And then tilt the pinky toe down towards the ground. And we're going to lift that leg up and down, keeping that foot flexed. I did these yesterday. I can feel those inner thighs. <laughs> inner thigh focus here, keeping that pinky toe side of the foot towards the ground, leg it out at about a 45 degree angle. Keep that going. I'm just noticing what's going on with the rest of the body. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that foot flat. Make your way onto your back and hug the leg that you were just working into the chest and rock side to side here. And then come back to center. Make some hip circles with that leg. So just letting that leg come around, making a circular motion. And then go ahead and change other direction. And come back to center. We're going to go ahead and place those heels pretty close together. Walk them in a little bit towards the glutes. Press your lower back into the mat, little pelvic tilt. Hands flat down by the side. Lift those hips up. The leg that you just worked, the leg that was a straight leg, come up onto the toes there, and then walk that foot forward just a little bit so you're up on the toes in that bridge position. One heel is completely down on the ground, completely flat. You're on the toes of the other side. Little pulses here. Bring those knees slightly towards each other. Pulse, pulse, pulse. 
Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Work in the back side right of the body. Staying with the breath. Noticing where your body is working more. Noticing where your body makes contact with the mat. Keep that going. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot that you're on the toe, bring that foot in flat and switch sides. So bring the other foot slightly forward and then raise up onto the toes, off the heel. Little pulses on the other side. <clears throat> Really activating the glutes, squeezing the glutes. If you don't feel your glutes, lift those hips a little bit higher and try to squeeze your butt a little bit more. It's coming if you don't feel it already. Make sure you're breathing. That will help so that your lower back doesn't fire up. Be pulsing 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower on down. Good. Hug both knees into the chest, rock side to side. And then start to rock a little bit back and forth. And you can make your way back up to the seated position here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to switch just so that the outside leg is the one uh, that you see better. Come back onto the forearms, open up through the chest, link the toes of the straight leg, bring the knees at the same level, slightly drop the knee down, back to knee level, and up. Finding your own pace there. Try to keep that straight leg as straight as you can. What kind of things happen in here? You can think about activating the core, really pulling in that belly button towards the back of the spine, lengthening the upper body, creating space through the front side of the collarbones. That going? I don't know if you can hear my little Little dog barking back there. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Keep that leg straight, forth that toe, you got it. And then go ahead and find the knees at level, keeping that leg straight, point and flex that foot. Got it. And then keep that foot flexed, little pulses. Am I feeling those quads? <laughs> Woo. Stay with the breath. Four, three, two, one. Point the big toe midline and lower the leg almost to the ground and back up to knee level. Again, staying with the whatever's present for you right now. <laughs> Maybe coming back to that physical check-in. What's going on physically? What's going on mentally? Emotionally? And spiritually right now. Holy moly. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Then go ahead and bring that leg out to about 45 degrees to the side. Point the pinky toe, side of the foot, outward. And then lift to knee level and down. Again, opening up through the shoulders, feeling the palms of the hands on the ground. Keeping that pinky toe, keeping that foot open. 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring that foot back onto the mat. Rest your head down onto the mat here. Bring those feet out wider. 
And then windshield wiper the legs so we can release those hip flexors. Moving them side to side here. Coming back to center, we're going to activate the core and use the upper body. So bring the knees up to tabletop, point those toes, squeeze those knees together, breath the lower back into the mat, bring the fingertips up to the ceiling, and then push the shoulders back into the mat, slight tuck of the chin. So this may be enough to stay here, or you might decide to alternate one arm at a time, letting the thumb touch the ground overhead. Or if you want to get real fancy and coordinated here and really activate the core, go ahead and lower opposite arm, opposite leg down to the ground. One at a time. And what you want to do here is you want to keep your lower back completely pressed into the back, into the mat. So maybe you don't lower that leg as low if it means your lower back is arching. Almost there. One more each side. And come back to center, hug those knees in again. This time point and flex the feet here. And then you can bring your arms out to a T, or you can let them bring your lower back, coming back to tabletop, glue those knees together, Press the shoulders into the mat, lower back into the mat. We're going to tilt onto one side, come back to the center, reset the spine, and then shift those hips over to the other side. So getting into those obliques here. Sinking your movement with your breath, anchoring those shoulders into the mat. And allowing your spine to reset in the center. And so you might make this movement really exaggerated if you have a lot of range of motion and a lot of strength in the core. Or you might make it really small and that's plenty. I'm always really doing what feels supportive in the body and what your body is able to do. Wherever you're at today is perfect. And come back to center. Now we're going to alternate kicking the toes up to the ceiling. So knees are get together. Legs are bent. Point one leg straight and lower. Straight and lower. Keep that going. We are almost done. Whew. Eight more. Eight. Seven, six, activate that core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and lower both legs back to the floor. Go ahead and stretch nice and tall. Reach through the fingers and the toes. And grab onto one wrist. Stretch over to the side. Keeping the shoulders open, pulling the elbows back. Come back to center, stretch over to the other side. And back to the middle, bring both feet out to the edges of the mat. Let the knees fall over to the right. And then bring the right arm across the chest, shoulder stretch. With the legs, thinking about pushing each leg into the mat. So it's going to be the inside of the left knee and the outside of the right knee. 
Beginning to slow the breath down. And then undo the arms, come back to center, other side, do the other arm across the body. Legs the other direction. Really pushing the inside of the right knee down and allowing the left leg to be supported. And go ahead and come on back to center. And then you can start, stay lying down if you want to for meditation. Or you can go ahead and come on up to a seated position. It's totally up to you. If you like, you can rest your eyes down. Beginning to bring your awareness to the top of your head. And then moving your awareness all the way down your entire body until you finally reach your awareness to the soles of your feet. And if there's any adjustments you can make, that'll help you feel more relaxed and present. Go ahead and make those adjustments. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna invite you to practice being still, as well as being silent. So I'll be quiet. Of course, we'll notice different noises around us and in the background. You might feel urges to itch or scratch or adjust. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to invite you to be that mindful, loving awareness. You're noticing. You noticing without attaching, without judging. So beginning by keeping your focus on the breath. Whenever you notice that your awareness goes somewhere else, you come back to the breath. Being with the entire breath as it enters the nose and travels down through the body. And then as it begins to leave the body, move it out through the nose and up through the nose. Breath awareness in stillness and in silence.
continuing to stay the breath. And I'll give you two questions to continue to meditate on. And if you'd like, you can also journal on these as well. And so the first question is, what am I experiencing right now? So it might be something like thoughts in my mind, pressure on my ankle, hearing a lawnmower, light coming through my left eye, tension in my back. So staying with your moment to moment experience. What am I experiencing right now? And as you observe this and experience this, you may notice how each moment is a new experience, a new experience. A unique experience. And the last question, or the second question to meditate on, and perhaps journal on, is, I am grateful for I am grateful for, rather, what am I grateful for? Was I really, <laughs> the first one was not actually a question. What am I grateful for? And in this practice, dropping from the mind into the heart. Coming back to the wisdom of the heart. What am I grateful for? Thank you for your beautiful practice today. Thank you for joining in for the last eight weeks. Remembering that at any moment we can practice being kind and curious, non-judgmental, loving and compassionate. But this is where life is happening. This is really the only moment, right here, right now, this first and this last experience. Thank you so much. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.